white done right. See how decorating in white country cottage style can give a space a cozy feel? Welcome to a home tour that feels simple, personal, warm and inviting. Decorating in a white cottage means including items like quilts, antique or reproduction furniture, flea market finds, baskets, chests and vintage accents to give cottage house style. All shades of white should be slightly different. To create interest in values, don't skimp on texture. Cover a sofa, chase an ottoman in different tactile fabrics. Create country windows with pillow weave fabric, puffy valances, ruffle or fringe add a cottage touch. For country cottage, limit the amount of exposed wood by covering it in fabric. Country screams cozy with eyelid lace, coat and overstuffed cushions. Bringing in nature finishes a country cottage look.
experiment with rotten bamboo, natural wood, bark as well as twigs, flowers and greenery for rural charm. There's a lot more of everything in the country cottage look, but avoid clutter. One way to achieve that full cozy style is to use lots of fabric. The charm in a country cottage is displaying accessories you use. Washable fabrics. Welcome to my channel. I'm Josie, and I'm going to talk about how to decorate with fabrics and create a shabby chic style. The style worn by Tide is shown in this house by Ulrika Falk. In the foyer, chairs with cushions and ruffled linings are the first impression to highlight the following style. The light tones give the cheerful and romantic feeling to welcome. In the living room, many changes in patterns and textures can be found in the living room, such as the flower print carpet, the lace covered coffee table, and the beautiful sofa. It's very cozy with blankets and ruffled cushions. Remember, you should be proud to give your home the personal touch you want in your decoration. That is why warm white furniture is pleased to be appreciated and reused as decorations such as display cabinets, clocks, diamond doors, and windows. The fabrics really are exquisite to change the decoration in an instant. Do you fall in love with the details and texture they provide? the dining room. Every day, dress the dining table for a party, place a nice tablecloth, emphasize it with a pad in the center, and use matching chair covers. Another element that you should choose is the color and texture of the curtains, which is, in this room space, the touch of pink in school allows to include the softness of the space.
corners to highlight. You can always place additional chairs next to the dining room, which will be used for decoration. Please use as spaces to add blankets, cushions, jugs, or vases with flowers. The cages, bars, wire mannequins, woven tables, chandeliers, candles, and more are accessories to complement the style and make it cozy without overdoing it, as you can see in the details of this corner. In the family room, it is more than wooden furniture covered with fabrics and many cushions. It converts a garden furniture into a comfortable and cozy sofa. And this idea also applies to chairs, back cushions and rugs that are very feminine in the time to decorate. This theme is impeccable for comfort and style. of the walls takes all the prominence where the furniture is located, but do not forget that the white towels are those with floral patterns give it elegance and a shabby chic touch. In the bedroom, we find a beautiful bedspread with the patchwork design and flowers patterns, stripes and soft tones that is complemented by the mannequins carved and encountered to the chocolate colored wall. The wallpaper was only used in the headboard wall. In the garden, one of the most reused furniture in this style is the metal bed used as the sofa in the garden where it was covered with beautiful fabrics and cushions with floral patterns. It's a charming corner. In the farmhouse style, a rustic, fresh and comfortable environment is sought. Considering the white color as the basis of the decoration, it will be able to combine all the old rustic wood furniture without problems. Here I am going to list 12 items that help to achieve the farmhouse style. 1. Wooden entrance door. Brings color to the porch, turning it into the point of attention. 2. Large leather sofa, a rustic piece that combines with the old chairs. 3. Wood floors. You can choose the color of the wood finish, but the most important thing is that it looks really rustic. Brick chimney. 
to give it a rustic and cozy character. You just have to decorate it to your liking. Five wood bin, solid wood bins separate the open space. Six rustic wood furniture. Any furniture such as chests of drawers, cabinet, cupboard coffee table, etc. Seven, wooden table. A nice rustic solid wood table could not be missing. Eight wood range hood. The kitchen is transformed into the modern farmhouse style just by adding the wood finish. Nine rustic wood finished bathroom, a sink with a wooden base and a wooden frame for the mirror. Then wooden wall. Highlight the bedroom wall to give warmth to the space. 11. Metal cradle. Some furniture helps to better define the style.
and 12 wooden bed headboard. This headboard is beautiful for looking old and solid wood. Once to add a shabby chic interior design style to your home. chandeliers, picture frames, and baskets serve to complete the look. Centerpiece with seasonal flowers is the best option. Add an vintage piece of furniture like an antique piano. Display on flower pattern plates on the wall is a simple way to highlight your collections. filled with fresh cut flowers and vintage cookware are exquisite because they add character to your home.
bedroom. We're using elements from Rama like a bronze bed, not forgetting to make it very cozy with lots of cushions. She also adds a functional side table or chest of drawers, open shelves, flower boxes, and more. How to create a vintage decoration Incorporating neutrals in vintage home design There are many ways to transform your home to display your values finds. Here are some tips to finding design inspiration for creating an old vintage home. Choose a color scheme. Focus on one space first. Decorate with vintage clocks. Use angel wings for vintage wall decoration.
blend different textures. Lanterns in caged vintage. mix of wood textures and details. Include an armory.
vintage headboards. Decide on a room theme. Transform vintage wooden doors or windows to decorate the wall. Welcome to the channel for more inspiration on how to create the perfect rustic home space. From furniture to wallpapers to paint colors giving an airy atmosphere that fits well within the definition of home. Are you looking to decorate in the cottage style? If so, write down some ideas of this house from the 90s. From wall colors to finishes to beautiful yet practical floors and windows treatments. The cottage style is all about displaying and preserving treasured original features like wood as well as creating cozy homey spaces. This house is small but beautiful. Colors inspired by nature, botanical prints on the walls, baskets, handicrafts, rustic rugs, and an eclectic mix of antique and handcrafted wood furniture were thought of in this cottage style home. In all spaces, you can see that there is harmony between them from the dining room, the kitchen with the breakfast area, and on the second level, the bedrooms going up the stairs to a family room.
Jossie and I'm glad you're watching the channel for another home tour. Brittany's house is charming and you can see her passion in decorating. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do. I hope it can inspire you with ideas. To decorate your home with style. To decorate your living room, dining room, kitchen, and bedroom in white rustic cottage style, follow these steps. In the living room. Color scheme, opt for a predominantly white color scheme to achieve a light and airy ambience. Use different shades of white such as off-white, cream, or eggshell to add depth and texture to the spaces. Walls, paint the walls in a light shade of white or consider using white wood paneling for a more rustic touch. Upholstery, opt for furniture upholstery in neutral colors like gray, beige, or cream. Add a few white or off-white throw pillows with subtle patterns to tie the room together. In the dining room. Furniture. Choose furniture with a distressed or weathered appearance to create a rustic feel. Look for vintage pieces or those made from reclaimed wood. Keep the furniture in white or light colored finishes to maintain the cottage style. Flooring. Choose hardwood flooring in a whitewashed or light color. This will enhance the rustic appeal and provide a cottage-like feel. You can add rugs with simple patterns or a natural fiber rug, such as jute or sisal, to bring warmth and texture to the space.
In the kitchen. Accessories. Incorporate natural elements into your decor. Use woven baskets for storage or display dried flowers in glass vases. Decorate the walls with vintage or nature-inspired artwork, or hang a collection of white plates on the wall in a symmetrical arrangement. Tableware. Use white or beige ceramics, stoneware, or ironware for your table settings. Display them on open shelves or a vintage hutch for a charming cottage touch. In the bedroom. Textiles. Incorporate natural fabrics such as cotton or linen in the form of curtains, cushions to enhance the cottage aesthetic. Choose lighter, sheer curtains that allow natural light to filter through. Lighting. Install wrought iron or metal pendant lights with a distressed finish to complement the rustic feel. Add table lamps with burlap or linen shades to create a warm and cozy atmosphere. Floral and greenery, add fresh or dried flowers, such as white hydrangeas or baby's breath, in vases to bring life and color to the rooms. You can also use potted plants or herbs in small white ceramic pots to add a touch of greenery. Remember, the key to achieving a white rustic cottage style is to keep the overall look light, airy, and filled with natural elements. Integrate vintage pieces, distressed finishes, and neutral colors to create a cozy and inviting environment.
To decorate a shabby chic cottage style in white, follow these simple steps. In the living room, start with a clean white canvas, paint the walls and ceiling white to create a fresh and bright backdrop for the shabby chic decor. Add texture with soft fabrics, use light and airy fabrics, such as linen or lace, to create a cozy and comfortable atmosphere. You can incorporate these fabrics through curtains, tablecloths, or throw blankets. Display vintage accessories. Decorate your space with vintage accessories such as white distressed picture frames, antique mirrors, vintage chandeliers, or white ceramic vases filled with fresh flowers. In the dining room, choose vintage-inspired furniture, look for white distressed or painted furniture pieces with intricate details, such as a distressed white farmhouse table, a vintage white chest of drawers or a white cane chair.
in the kitchen. Mix and match furniture styles. Don't be afraid to combine different styles of furniture, such as mixing a rustic white farmhouse kitchen island. Use whitewashed or distressed finishes. Opt for whitewashed or distressed finishes on wooden furniture or decor pieces to enhance the shabby chic aesthetic. In the bedroom, incorporate floral patterns. Use white floral patterns in your upholstery, curtains, bedding, or throw pillows to add a feminine touch to the space. Look for vintage-inspired floral prints or delicate lace patterns. Decorate with vintage-inspired artwork. Hang vintage-inspired artwork on the walls to complete the shabby chic look. Look for white-framed vintage prints or delicate white canvas paintings. Remember, the key to achieving the shabby chic cottage style in white is to embrace imperfections and create a cozy, inviting space with worn and weathered elements.
Main elements of neutral cottage style decoration The cottage style is characterized by comfortable furniture, fresh colors and natural elements. It is the decoration style to have a cozy home, incorporating some economic ideas to create a warm and welcoming space for the whole family. Cottage style decor elements Neutral colors Having a neutral color palette is a great success to expand this space. Neutral fabrics they add warmth to the space and follow the traditional lines. Chunky knit blankets add a cozy touch when dropped over a chair or at the foot of the table. Wooden furniture. A simple and informal wooden dining room is transformed into an attractive and romantic place with the cushions. Accessories. Your possibilities are truly limitless, with a little imagination and persistence as you search for vintage accessories.
Welcome to a new video, here we will take a home tour of Danielle's house. Using neutral colors in different rooms of your home can create a cohesive and relaxing atmosphere. Below we give you some tips on how to effectively incorporate neutral colors in each of the spaces mentioned. living room. In this large space the neutral base color for the walls is beige, off-white. All textiles introduce different shades of neutrals, such as cream, taupe or warm grays, especially in the upholstery of their furniture and cushions. Here you apply visual interest with textures such as a sisal rug, woven baskets and linen curtains. To add charm, layering decorative pillows and blankets in muted tones of white, beige and soft pastels are a must. Finally, don't forget to incorporate details such as accessories on the coffee table. Fireplace and consoles add a touch of elegance. dining room. The walls of one follow the same color because it is an open space where the living room, dining room and kitchen meet. The light wood finished table is rustic with matching neutral colored chairs upholstered in light beige tones. Another idea to add interest is with a neutral colored rug under the table with a pattern or texture. Complement the space with white or cream table linens, neutral colored tableware, and a centerpiece of dried flowers or greenery without forgetting furniture to display tiles and other accessories.
are kept in the same warm neutral color with white painted wood cabinets for a clean and airy look. Light colored countertops and backsplashes were also used, but black appliances were incorporated to provide an elegant contrast to the neutral colors. What do you think of the accessories? Those details like white or cream colored plates, glass jars with wooden lids and dishes in neutral tones. bathroom. The neutral color palette for the tiles, such as white, beige or light gray, continues to be the touch of this home, but what about a rustic background like bricks? A white or light colored vanity and countertop can only stand out by adding warmth with accessories like a wood framed mirror, bamboo storage baskets, or a natural fiber bath mat. I also used white or cream colored towels in a shower curtain to achieve a clean, spa-like feeling. And don't forget to accentuate with plants or small baskets to add a fresh touch. In the bedrooms, stick with the same color to paint the walls in a warm and inviting neutral color such as soft beige, creamy white, or light gray. Why opt for bedding in neutral tones, such as off-white, light taupe, or pale blue? The most important thing is to layer different textures with cushions and a thick knit blanket. Additionally, incorporate soft lighting with neutral colored lampshades or bedside lamps. And to add depth to the space, place wooden furniture in light or medium tone finishes. enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, leave me a comment. Thank you very much for watching the video.